Are you a brick and mortar business owner that has put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating a storefront that lights you up and serves your clients really well, only to be frustrated that you're the best kept secret in town? If you're not hearing your new clients say, I found you on Google, then you are in the right place. Welcome. My name is Melissa Rose. I'm a mom, a brick and mortar business owner, and your straight shooting visibility coach. I've cracked the SEO code to becoming the top choice on Google in my industry. And now I'm I'm sharing the secrets on this podcast. Get ready for stories, fail-proof strategies, and practical tips to elevate your brick-and-mortar presence to the top choice on Google. Let's get real because we're going to make your business the only option in town. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Brick and Mortar Visibility, where we talk all things SEO, Google Business Profile, and marketing, making your business the only option in town for your industry. We talk about that all the time, but today we're going to change it up. We're going to talk about your Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday weekend. But before we dive into all the goodness of today's podcast, here is your PSA. I want you to go grab a post from last week that's evergreen or one that did really well, or maybe you have a new blog post that you're putting out this week. Bring that also into your Google business profile and update your Google business profile. What do I mean by that? You need to go grab my Google business profile workshop. It is completely free and it's about 35 minutes of goodness teaching you exactly what you need to do for your Google business profile to optimize it, to make sure all the bells and whistles are clicked, checked, working for you so that you can be found. This is a great foundational piece of your SEO that needs to happen. And then we dive on over into creating great content on your blog, via your website, social media, email campaigns, text campaigns, all the things after that. But your foundation is your Google business profile. So please grab that. The link is here in the bio. And again, that's completely free and such a great use of your time to learn about it, to make sure you're using it, to make sure you're optimizing it, and updating it consistently. All right, today is Monday, the 28th of October. I'm time stamping that because this week is (laughs) trick-or-treating. We're still in October. Why are we talking about Christmas? But here's the deal. Marketing, we're always thinking ahead. We're always three to six months thinking ahead. And honestly, I could have done this episode back in August for those high achievers that are way, way ahead of the game. But most of us are small business owners with a small team. And you might be a month ahead, two months ahead. You might have some big things mapped out, but maybe not the details. And I want to get this out to you so that you can take advantage of really optimizing this. And it was so fun last year because I saw some fellow business owners in the area take advantage of this Black Friday script that I have or template that I have and implement it in their business. And for those of you that are local business owners, you you have services, don't think that you can't participate in this. We often think of Black Friday as things, as products, as like clothing or, you know, um, knickknacks or whatever it is, you know, things, but your, your services are products. And that is something that held me back from doing this event. I was like, well, how do I do a Black Friday event? Um, because I didn't have a boutique back then, but we can use our products, use our services as products. And in this template, I talk about that and, uh, share with you how to do this. But I want to, uh, first start off by saying, we need to think ahead on what the strategy is or what is our long-term goal because we don't want to discount anything if we don't need to. And that is where I do get pushback. People will say, well, Melissa, if I'm the only option in town and I'm my, my classes are full or my studio is full or my services are all, all full for months on end, why would I even discount? Legit question legit question. And that is on you as to what you want to do. Maybe there's something that you don't have that's really um, popular and you want to either A, get rid of it or unload it or fill it up. Or maybe it's a newer product and you want to get it going. So those are things to think about. Please be mindful of that because even though it's great to make money on this Black Friday weekend, 
We also have to keep in mind that we're taking, we're just bringing that cash into our business sooner. It would have maybe come later. So I really want you to keep in mind what you are doing and why you are doing it. All right, which products you are putting out there and why. So for me, I have a dance studio for those of you that don't know. And my goal is retention and offloading some products that may have been sitting in our boutique for a while. Cash is also important. Having an influx of cash, nobody ever complains about that. But my overall goal is retention, getting people in the door and then keeping them. All right. So we have six week sessions for a lot of like over half of our classes are six week sessions. So families love that because this is a short little commitment. I don't love it because it's a short little commitment. So we have fixed some things in our studio so that people stay on longer. However, they always have the option to leave after six weeks. So for my Black Friday event, my goal is bringing people in the door. So yes, they're coming in at a discounted rate, but they are buying for retention. And I will explain in a little bit. Did you know the work you do today affects your business 60 to 90 days from now? And that just doesn't go for business. That goes for all areas of life. So based on the work you're doing right now, where are you going to be? Is it going to be same old thing, different day? Or is it going to be a level up? If you answered level up, Let's make sure it actually happens. Come join me in my mastermind called Level Up, where we meet once a month to hold each other accountable, think strategically, and get inspired and empowered to take the action needed so that you can level up your business. If you want to learn more on how to level up you and your business, go to the link in the bio or MsMelissaRose.com forward slash mastermind to learn more. It would be my privilege to be part of your story in your level up. So we're going to start at the very beginning. I started this event in 2020. It was a year that we all know about. Okay. March, 2020, the world changed. So by the time we got to December, 2020, we had our communities back. Um, Our community had our back, I should say. The community wanted to support small business because they knew we were suffering, okay? So I did this event, and I made over $5,000 in a weekend. And for my little dance studio, that was significant change for us. And I documented what I did because at that time, I genuinely wanted to see if it would work, and then I wanted to share it with you for the following year. So in 2021, we tweaked some things. We We did the same event. However, 2021, we did not do as well. We only did $1,800, which great. Thank you, $1,800 in a weekend. Great, but not wow. Definitely not wow. So I went back and looked at some things and how could we do it better? 2022, we did $2,370, so $2,300. And then in 2023, we did $2,392. So almost $2,400. So for my, my studio, that is, uh, that's the stats. I'm just being real with you, okay? We have, a, we have about 100 students in our studio, so it's small. But my goal for this weekend, for this weekend of events, is uh, bringing in clients, maybe new clients, but I also want to take care of my current clients, all right? So that was something that I... Um, really looked at it in 2021, 2022, because I was like, all these things are for like new clients. I really want to have something that's helping my current clients maybe get a deal, especially if they've been super loyal, right? And then I also needed to look at what I was offering already on the table for, for current clients and being mindful of like, am I only giving, uh, this was something that bothered me. I felt like I was only giving to my newest people and versus taking care of my people that were already there. So that's what I looked at when I was looking at pricing and strategy. So what we have come up with, we've done some different things. Um, I have different spokes to my business as many of you do. You may have some um, other products that you sell. You may have a boutique, you may have shoes or clothing or maybe supplements or vitamins or um, I also have skincare that I sell. So I was trying to weave those into uh, the Black Friday sale as well. But what I would highly recommend is that you have a price point for 
everybody or different price points. Uh, I like to have a low price point, the, a no-brainer offer. And for us, that's just a gift card. So for $40, they can get a $50 gift card. All right. Then I have something that could be geared for new students and or my current students. So like I said, over half of my students, well over half of my students are six-week sessions. So taking care of them, but also bringing in new people. And what we have done, we've like I said, this is my fifth year doing it. So we used to do two, pay for two six-week sessions, get the third one free. Then we <laughs> did two, two six-week sessions, get it for 50% off. This year, we're doing two six-week sessions, pay for two, and get the third one at 25% off. The reason for this is that we have discontinued all discounts in our regular program. Okay, so in the past we used to do discounts and now I don't do any. So this is the only time you get a discount. And I have um, made it only 25% because at least they're getting something. So that does jump up to like over $300, but my families that are sign on, like want to do the year, they will take advantage of that. And then I have a larger ticketed item. So like I said, I want to have retention and I want to have um, that cash flow and then get things off the shelf. But I also want to show transformation or give people that opportunity to commit for a longer period of time so that they can see results. All right. So that $40 gift card. Yeah, that's a quick fix. Okay. That's like a, you know, a month of classes, less than a month of classes. But if for somebody for a true transformation, it's going to be a larger commitment, okay? Therefore, a larger ticketed item. So I do my dance on demand for that. And that is for that person that uh, wants wants to learn and wants to um, experience something more long-term. So I would definitely have something larger ticketed that is a longer commitment for people so that that way they can truly see the transformation, Okay. All right, now let's talk about the nuts and bolts of all this. I recommend having a specific landing page, okay? So for us, it's thedancinghouse.com forward slash Black Friday event. I believe that's what I have. And that is for SEO purposes, but it also keeps it clean. You can send somebody directly there, all right? They don't have to go to your website and then find things or it's listed on the homepage. It's very specific, on where you're, where you're going. And then you can have that landing page live for a certain amount of time as well. So this is where tech, the tech aspect of it gets really nice and it can be difficult if you're not tech savvy. But over the years that I've done this, my software has made it even easier because they've they've added bells and whistles to their programming, uh, their software. So it just becomes very slick for me. So every year, like I literally was going over this last night in prepping for today, I am going through that landing page, fixing the dates, fixing the products that I'm going to sell and tweaking that landing page. What you want to have on that landing page, I love what Donald Miller says. You want to, you want to be able to grunt and just go, "Uh uh-huh, got it, good, mm, done. You want it skimmable, uh, simple. That's why I only have really only three products to choose from. But I also want you to make sure that you have testimonies, that you have pictures sprinkled in, that they can see themselves in your space, that they can see themselves using your products and services, uh, that they see the reviews of what people have said. So that way it becomes a no-brainer offer for them. All right, so we've picked out, we've figured out our strategy, we've picked out products, we've priced out things, we've figured out how we're going to price things, we have a landing page mapped out, and this can be very simple. And I, I definitely recommend looking at mine just to see how simple this can be. Okay. I am not crazy tech savvy. I do B plus work (laughs) to get results because I, it doesn't need to be crazy. It does not need to be that over the top. Now, what I'm giving you is a PDF. All right. My PDF that actually it's a Google doc that you can copy and tweak it to you, to your business. 
what I have in there is the emails and the social media posts. And it's all documented with dates and what to say and how to say it. Of course you can tweak it. Of course you can make it different or do a different vibe. This is a template. It's meant for you. And what you need to understand and what you need to be reminded, and I do too, it's it's not even November, but you've seen Christmas commercials already, right? People are going to be bombarded with Christmas holiday shopping. And like it or not, if you want to play, you got to get in the game. So you have to be on top of it. And that is why I have this template so you can see what how much I put out there. We have emails going out two weeks prior to the event. We have social media posts trickled in two weeks prior to the event. And we also have text messages that are sprinkled in as well. Now, I do this a good two weeks, two and a half weeks prior to Black Friday. You could go further out. You could start even November 1st. Hey, get ready. We have a big Black Friday event because people are shopping or at least looking right away. I saw years ago that there was a stat where a certain number of people had their Christmas shopping done by the end of the day end of October. Whether that's true or not, I am a huge advocate of getting the word out sooner than later. You don't want to wait until the week of. People are planning, they're looking, they're shopping, quote unquote, so looking around to see what is out there and you want to be part of the plan. So as we close up this episode and tie it up with a bow, I just want to remind you of a couple of things that I've learned over the years. First of all, we are not necessarily competing with the other store down the street. We're competing with Amazon. Okay, what does that mean? We are competing with how easy we make it for our customers. All right, with Amazon, it's a click and it's delivered. We can change the we can change where it's delivered to because maybe it's a gift for somebody. They can gift wrap it for them. We need to be the Amazon Plus. We need to be better. How can we be better? So first of all, we need to make our shopping experience just as easy as Amazon. So less clicks, less clicks. Get them to where they need to go and make it super simple. So uh, I have the landing page, click to buy here, and then there's an email that says it will automatically be applied to your account. Um, If you want us to send a gift card to somebody, please click hit reply and let us know the address and we'll send a gift card. So trying to make it automated and ready for people so that it's easy for them. So please keep that in mind. Also make sure that you have the link in your bio on Instagram, on Facebook, make sure that landing page is there. Maybe it's a separate one. So on Instagram, you can have multiple links. Maybe you just have a Black Friday link versus like I have all the things. Maybe it's just separate Black Friday event. And then same thing with uh, on your Facebook. Like I said, when you are the only option in town, people want your services, right? People are, I love it. I just, this weekend, people, I saw you on Google and came in. That's wonderful. And if you are sold out or have like things going really well for you, do you really want to do a Black Friday sale? What is the point of it? Is it to give your current people uh, a gift? Is it to give back? There's other ways to give back. So you may not want to do a Black Friday event. You may not need to. That is a legit question. But If you do do it, I need you to think about the strategy and why you're doing it, all right? And keep that in mind and keep that pricing in mind because remember, we're bringing that money in now, which is awesome, but it's, you know, you would have gotten that money later in June maybe, you know? So thinking all about that, thinking about your landing page, how to make it really optimized, bells and whistles, making sure those testimonies are there, the pictures of people, keeping it skimmable. And then making sure it's very easy for people to buy. We don't want to send them a million places. Keep it as minimal as possible. Go grab my 
my template for you, for you. It's all there. You can grab the copy, cut, copy, paste the, the copy. Um, there's graphics there. Of course, you're going to have to make those graphics your own and, and um, make them branded for you, but it gives you ideas. And that's what it's here for is the timeline ideas so that you can maximize this weekend as a great weekend to help cash flow and to help make your 2024 the best yet. And when your SEO is excellent and you are the only option in town, the compound effect of this all is phenomenal. And that is what I want for you. So grab that free template. It's here in the show notes. Uh, MsMelissaRose.com forward slash Black Friday for those of you that are listening and want to jot it down later. Grab it, take advantage of it, use it, and I would absolutely love it if you shared with me that you used it and what your results were. I am cheering for you and wishing you the best Black Friday weekend yet. All right, everybody, have a great week. We will see you here same time, same place next week. Peace. Bye-bye.